Hello fellow engineers and welcome to I Love Arrows. Still sounds like I Love Arrows. Anyway, this is a super addictive tower defense game set in the sky on like a mountain cliff top thing. Now I played this on stream recently and we completed the Archer's Oath, which means we've now unlocked a new campaign, the Arboretum. The Ar- The Arbor- The Arboretum. The Arboretum. The Arboretum. The Arboretum. Oh, that's the word. The Arboretum. So looking at this, I think each sort of few waves we get to, I think that's what these pink numbers are. Uh, we unlock new tiles and things. And new tiles are what we use to plop our things down. Uh, we've also, oh man, we've also unlocked the architects. I don't, I don't want to use the architects, but look, they gain a bridge each turn. And the thing is, in order to get the next people i do need to actually play with the architects oh please don't unsubscribe from me but i'm actually i'm gonna select the architects you were the chosen one it was said that you would destroy this and not join them so if you've never seen this before this is this is our little base the pink blob is where the enemies are going to spawn and this is what we have to defend the compass stone yeah we've already got one tower on our thing the archery tower and you can see that is the radius that it hits now over here this is legacy tower you started the game with this tower because you reached wave 20 in your last game oh decent so that's just a bonus tower we've got i like that a lot not gonna lie uh, and down the bottom these are our towers that we get so in this game it's sort of like a card game you don't know what you're gonna get it's random every single time uh, but we definitely want to place the cannon tower Tower down. Now, where we place this down, we actually have to be touching. So can you see they're green there because we're, we're touching like the path over there is for green because we're touching our archer tower. Uh, but if we try and go there, then we're red. And if we try and go there, we block the path. So we definitely can't go there. Uh, I'm going to go there, I think. So place. And then down here, this is the next tile that we're going to get. It costs two coins. And up there, that's how many coins we have. We only have two. We gain one every single round. Um, and what I learned on stream last time is you actually, you want to save your money up if you can. So basically, if I don't buy this now, if I start the wave, which you see the guy spawned he got killed instantly uh, we then get access to this without having spent any coins um, and basically once you get to like 10 20 and 30 coins you gain an extra coin every round if that makes sense so the idea is for the first few waves just rotate that that way. Uh, we really don't want to spend any coins. Right, so every few rounds you get a bonus card to pick from. So we've got dynamites, their little bomb symbol. You can see we currently have, we don't have any of those. Uh, so that's very useful. That allows you to place buildings on top of other buildings, like to demolish them basically. Uh, we've got coins over there. We can get four of them. We're in the middle, ornate tower. I don't know what that is. Get stronger for each adjacent garden tile. So it's an attacking thing. I think if it's called a tower, it does attacks. Uh, let's just go to here. So, so yeah, these arrow towers, they're archery based. This one is nature based. I don't really understand how that works. However, I'm not going to find out quite yet because I want to go with the dynamite. I feel like that's going to be most useful, uh, particularly because we've already got three towers on the map. So I'm feeling pretty, pretty safe. Anyway, the next card we've got for this round is the garden. That literally can just go anywhere. Uh, and wherever you place that, you get a coin. Yeah, we'll then start the next wave. That was a guy with a with a baseball bat. He got destroyed straight away. And on our next one, we've got a path and water. Now, the downside with this is the water is going to sort of get in the way of different things. Uh, but thankfully, you can use a bomb to dig it up later, should we want to. So I guess we'll just go for that now. We'll start the next wave. We've got a couple of guys there. They got destroyed pretty quickly. Uh, the next card is the Ice Trap. So this basically, on adjacent squares, uh, puts like a slowy downy thing. So if I go there, we'll get one slowy downer. I mean, I could try and go here and then sort of loop back around. But to be honest, I think that's a fairly good place. So we'll place that there. You see the water's going off the edge of the map there, so that's fine. Uh, and the next tile is going to be a market square. So this basically allows us to enter the black market, which means we can buy things with our coins. Um, however, annoyingly, we will have 10 coins then. So if you look now, it's 9 plus 1, meaning we get one extra coin every single wave. If we start this wave and hopefully beat it, yes. Can you see up there? It's now a plus 2. That's because we have 10 coins on us. We gain 2 around. Um, however, we've just got the magic wheel so we're gonna press play and i think this is gonna give us a nice little nice little card or boost or something so what have we got oh no broken heart what does that mean it took a life off us we're down to nine lives so basically each enemy that reaches our compass stone uh, we lose a heart and if we if we get to zero hearts it's game over anyway the market square has to be surrounded by all tiles in order to get to the black market so i guess we just want to go i mean i might just go there for now with a bridge i don't think we're going to be using this very often so yeah we'll place that there whatever and then we'll start the next wave and we're going to gain two coins after this wave nice plus two so we're on 12 coins now um, and essentially i think you just want to save your money as much as you can if you can get up to 30 coins you'll be getting plus four every single round
around, then you can start spending. And generally getting to the black market is sort of worthwhile as well because you get like better upgrades you can buy than just whatever's next in the path. Anyway, here we have an archery tower. Where do we want to go with this? I'm sort of thinking there just to hit two squares. So yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, then we'll start the next wave and there's a guy with a shield, but we blew his shield off. Yeah, and complete another wave. We got a straight bit of path and then the next one is a corner. So I tell you what, it's probably worth prepping for the future. So if I do that, then I can get a corner there next time because yeah, then these tiles like the cannon tower and the archery tower, they'll be hitting even more tiles. I think that's good. Let's start the wave. So take those guys down. We didn't extend the map this time. Is that guy going to get through? Oh no. Oh, that guy made it through. We've lost another life. We're down to eight. Um, but we got some pretty good bonuses this time. So roadwork, fill all one tile gaps with paths. So basically this corner that would get filled in. Yeah, that's actually a really, really good card, but I haven't really, I won't be able to take advantage of it. I may as well take the coins, I think. So yeah, four coins. We've got 21 coins, which means we get three every round now. Yeah, I'm going to grab this path and shove it there. So that means we've extended the path back a bit, meaning enemies should take more damage. Hopefully meaning we'll pass this round without too much trouble. Although, come on. Come on, cannon. Do your area damage. Quick, take the big guy down. Oh, that was close. That was a little bit close. Yeah, now we're getting all sort of path pieces. This is nice. So this one, we've got, we've got a straight and a corner. I mean, that would be perfect. But can you see, because there's like a bit of river there, I can't actually place this there. But looking at what's coming up next, I think if I were to... Yeah, there's not really any easy way to do this. So I'm guessing I might place that there using one bridge. Check out the bridge there. Um, and then we'll start the next wave. We're going to get plus three coins. Let's just hope we can survive that Viking That Viking. Guy was fast, but he's down. Yeah, and everyone else is down as well. Now we're in the black market. So these cost various amounts of coins. Uh, generally, it's best to get your paths in here. And this bit of path there, reinforced path. Now, as it says there, it can be placed outside of the aisle without using a bridge. So basically, it's a straight that I can place down that doesn't use one of my bridges. Although I do have 11 left. So I'm not going to take the top one for four coins, which is buying two bridges. Uh, the bundle could be useful though. An extra heart, an extra bomb. Um, I think first we're going to go with the path and then probably shove that that direction. Place using a bridge, yep. Then we'll do a reinforced path and we'll shove that there. Now that doesn't use a bridge up, remember, because it's reinforced. Then is it worth getting a bundle? I mean, that's five coins. That is a lot of coins. I think I might be better off just continuing. So we got this bit of path to place down. I think we can shove that there. And then I've sort of made the perfect looping path for a tower. So yeah, shove that there using two bridges. We are, we're running out of bridges in a big way, actually. Uh, next up, annoyingly, it's an archer tower with a bit of river so that's not going to be able to fit in the gap because obviously there's a river on the edge and that will destroy our path so let's just start the wave and we'll see how we get on there's no towers up here so they're not taking any damage uh, thankfully the viking dude is down we've got the big shield guy that's it give him a bomb come on towers archer him there we go there we go right so arrow tower i'm gonna place this probably just down this end i mean i feel like we get a few hits without using any bridges or anything although it would be nice just to come up there that is two bridges they sod it. Actually, we got there because that's that's three hits. That's got to be worthwhile, surely. Um, we'll start the next wave and then you'll see these guys. They will get hit for all of those three tiles by my new arch tower. Um, and hopefully that means we're going to win this wave. Nice. And we did. So we got some bonus cards. Do we go with a bridge and a bomb? Do we lose two coins for two hearts? Oh, that's not bad. Or do we guarantee that the next two tiles are corner paths? That would actually be really useful in this because I could plonk one there and plonk one on that water. And that's sort of where I want to go. I feel like two hearts for two coins though is really, really good. I mean, it'll put us down to 28 coins, which means we won't quite get plus four this time. We'll only get plus three, but two hearts. I think I gotta go. I gotta go that route really, haven't I? Safety first and all that. I am meant to be an engineer. Right, let's shove this garden down there surrounding the black market. Boosh, that's an extra coin. And then we'll start the wave and then, oh, this is quite a big wave. Hopefully the cannon will do some area damage though. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. They're in the frost as well. They're slowed down, although actually Actually, I think the shield guy might make it through. Oh, no. We've lost one of those hearts already. I've only just bought them. All right, next up, we have an ice trap. It's got water on the edge, though. So perhaps I'll just shove that down here. Like, annoyingly, even if I put water on top of water, it's going to use up two bombs. So, yeah, I think maybe there. And that might actually stop me losing a heart. 
because it will slow people down. So that can go there. We'll start the next wave and take out the Viking. Take out the Viking. Okay, we've slowed him down once. We've slowed him down again. Oh, that was so close. If I didn't put that ice trap there, he would have made it through. We would be at, down to eight lives. Yeah, but it's still on nine. So nice. So we've got corner and a straight. And it's worth noting coming up next is corner and water. So is there actually anywhere we can place this where it's useful? I'm sort of thinking like that. So I basically want to come down that place in a straight. This is going to use a bomb and a bridge. But yeah, let's do it. Because basically I'm looking at this, this legacy tower. It's got two hits there. So if I can get a corner and a straight, that's another two attacks this one's doing. Let's start the wave. And oh dear, we've got two Vikings. I really, I just need a single tower to go in there and that will really help me. No Viking. Oh, phew, that was close. That second ice tower was such a good idea. Pat on the back for you, Matt. Uh, oh, look, a genie grants you a wish. So we can either gain four coins, not the most useful. Now we're at 40 coins. Now we could gain two hearts or half tile of my choice. I don't know if reinforced tiles are included in that. That would be useful if so, though. I feel like I should probably go hearts, but I really want to go with the tiles. No, I've gone hearts. I've gone hearts. Safety for... Oh, no! The maximum is 10. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> anyway, can this piece go anywhere that's actually helpful to us? It could go there, but it'll cost two bridges. Oh, and we got a straight next. Okay, we're going to have to do that then. That's going there. We're putting we're putting water on a bridge. I can't even see the bridge. We got ripped off. There's no bridge there. But I tell you what, that means it's time for a bridge review. This bridge is a stealth bridge hiding underneath water, apparently. It costs Matt a load of coins and he's never going to get them back. A feat of engineering or just an architect's trick? Assuming the latter, I give this bridge a 0.1 out of 10. Bridge review. Right, anyway, I'm at the point where I may as well start using money now. I've just bought that for two coins. If I shove that there using a bridge as well, then we've at least extended our thing all the way back to there, meaning those two squares, we're going to be doing damage on them. So let's start the wave. Let's see what happens. Oh, and look, we got a bearded bull dude. We're going to have to try and take him out. He looks hench. Come on, hit him with everything we got. Come on, Cannon. That's it. Get involved. Breathe him. That's good. That's good. Oh, man, he's really strong. Please, please, please. Oof. Okay, we're done. We did good. It's okay. Uh, next up, we've got a cannon tower, but it's got water next to it as well. Not ideal. Um, I'm probably going to have to shove that there. It's going to use two bridges, but it hits three times and it's splash damage as well. And doing that early on the map is pretty good. I mean, I could actually shove that up there. That makes way more sense, Matt. Look how many hits we get there. Yeah, we're going there. Okay, place using two bridges. We've gone there. We're going to hit four tiles this time. Yeah, but once we get a new bit of path, we're going to be doing five. So that is actually way better placement. Let's start the wave and see how we get on. Look how many coins we've got. I need to start spending them as well. Anyway, a couple of Vikings on this one. We have mullered both of them. And then it's just some big ass shield guys. Yeah, but they didn't last very long. All right, so this is the fishing hut. We gain two coins for every adjacent water tile. Is it worth spending a bridge though? just for four coins. I mean, it might be actually. Yeah, I've done it. Uh, I'm now going to start spending my coins, I think. So we'll go next. Don't think I want to use this because that's going to be another two bridge pieces purely because of the water. Although that's not a bad spot to go because the next one, if I spend two more coins, is doing that. That's three bridges though. <laughs> oh, we're using up so much bridge. Anyway, I've done that and then I've bought the next tower, which is an arch tower because I can shove that in the middle there, which is going to be beautiful. Every Every single square surrounding it is going to be hit. So, yep, let's place that for our last bridge and then we'll start the next wave. So, our early cannon is doing the splash damage, taking out those guys. We've got our new archer tower absolutely smashing it. I'm yeah, not going to lie, this map is really bridgy. I'm quite liking the amount of bridge. Although, what is that? I bet an architect designed that. Like, look at it. It's, it's, a, it's a death trap. It's a balcony with no safety rails. What were they thinking? Anyway, over here, we've just had... Oh, man. We've just had another island spawn. Not ideal, actually. Because uh, not only do we have to keep care of this one, we have to keep an eye on this one as well. And we've got a path piece that isn't the most useful. Because ideally, I want to come this way to get that archer involved. Although, actually, going that way, we've still got that archer. And then it means... That ice trap will do something there. Yeah, okay. We'll go we'll go that way then, game. Um, I'm gonna spend some more coins, so we'll 
do the garden. I'll shove that over there just to get an extra coin. And then we got a straight bit of path. And I think I might shove that there so that this one has ice on it as well. And then this island's going to be sort of sorted for quite a while, I think. Because look, this, this arch tower also does that corner pretty nice. So let's start the wave. And this is wave 19, meaning the next one is 20, which hopefully means we'll get back to the black market at some point. So yeah, I just got this big axe guy to take care of, but he is done. Oh, still still no black market. Not ideal. Now, we are gaining a bridge every wave though, which sort of means I can I can put something back up here potentially. Like maybe an ice trap there? Because that's like, that's a double hit ice trap. I mean, I could do the same up there, but then that ice isn't actually doing anything. At least down at this one, we've got, we've got two towers hitting as well. So yeah, let's do that for two bridges and then we'll start the next wave. So this is wave 20. Um, and honestly, we're coping fairly well. That guy got quite close, so not gonna lie. But Beard dude is getting mullered. Oh, and look, at the end of wave 20, we've unlocked a relic. So two things to choose from. Immediately draw bonus cards twice. I think that's probably what I'm going to go with. Or gain a coin whenever you place a tile on the edge of an aisle. Well, there's pretty much no edge of the aisle because we're just building on bridges constantly. So I don't think that one will pay off. It will give us six bonus coins for this one. But now I'm going to go with bonus cards twice. So definitely not taking the heart because I have maxed out hearts. Don't really need the coins. So let's grab a bridge and a bomb. And then, oh, I guess two more bombs is probably the most sensible thing to do here. So there we go, wave 21. So first off, I'm sort of thinking if I shove this there, I can use a bridge and a bomb. And then we're going back in that direction, which I think is actually pretty good good unless I want to try and head up the back there but that's going to require a lot of bombs and I don't even think I'll be able to yeah I'm going to go this way I'm going to go this way so we've done that we then got an arrow tower which I think I'm going to shove there because that's like pretty good surround future proofing this one as well and then down here I probably want to think about getting this path in probably heading back up this way because then we can put some like in the middle surrounded blocks so yeah I think that's good uh, we got no more bridges should I see what a well does gain one coin for each water tile in the same row or column. Ooh. So if I were to shove that like, well, there would be perfect if I'm honest, because I assume you'd get one, two, three, four coins. I assume that's what it means by rows and columns. Anyway, if I leave that there, I don't actually know. Do I just get that next time? Let's let's do a test. Let's start the wave. Hopefully we'll survive. We definitely survived the bottom one. That's very overpowered at the moment. And this original loop, I think we're going to survive as well. Although these axe guys, they're really going for it. Take him down. Take him down. Oh, no, we lost a life. We lost a life. Oh, and looking at the bottom, you don't keep that tile. So that's good to know for the future. Right, anyway, straight path. we got to try and make up here a bit stronger. So I'm going to do straight path there. And then I'll save the cannon tower next time and try and shove it in the middle for a bridge and a bomb. But let's start the wave. Yeah, down here, absolutely fine. It's just up here we've got to worry about. There's a lot of enemies I could do with an early cannon tower. So I think that's a good plan I've got. And thankfully, we survived that round easily. Oh, and we got a bonus card. So we'll go for materials, an extra bridge and an extra bomb. And then I'll use those extra bridge and bombs for this tower here. So we got cannon tower, which is going to get almost completely surrounded uh, just for the price of a bridge, which is where the cannon tower is and a bomb to put water on top of water. Architect's logic in this game. That's all I'm saying. All right, we'll place that there. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm actually tempted by the next bit of path as well. Look, if I grab this bit of path, that is a perfect fit there to get complete surrounded on that. Oh man, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's another bridge and another bomb, but look at the damage that is going to do. That is going to be beautiful. Right, start the wave and check out the early area effect damage we're doing. Boosh, die everyone. Oh man, this was such a good idea. I'm so glad. The wave of the cards were nice to me there. Although bearded dude getting a little bit too close. Take him out. Blooming hell, that was close. So if I hadn't put that in, I would have lost that round. I would have lost some hearts. Um, anyway, look at the number of coins we have. Nice. Uh, we've got a fishing hut which I might skip, to be honest. So yeah, skip that. We've then got path and water. I mean, really not ideal. I'm trying to not use bridges if I can help it. Wherever I want to shove this, it's going to it's gonna take too many bridges. Yeah, so let's skip that one. We could shove an ice trap over here somewhere. I feel like that's a good spot because we've got two archers covering the square that will get frozen. So we'll place that there. And then we've got a corner path. Let's start the next one. I need to start spending my coins. I've got 65 coins. How have I got so many? I mean, the thing is, we we seem to be surviving pretty well. I haven't lost a life for a while now. Although, am I about to lose one? No, that's fine. Thought I was about to jinx that then. So, corner piece. Ideally, I guess, go over there. It's going to cost a bridge. 
but yeah, let's do it. And then let's have a look at the arch tower. We've got another corner up next as well. You know, sort of thinking if I were to shove that on there for two bombs, I guess that's kind of surrounded. And we can grab this path, shove it there. And then, oh, what does a statue do? Gain two bombs when fully surrounded. Okay. Now you can see this guy here. He gains a shield every time. So we've got to try and take that down. I mean, thankfully, we're doing pretty much constant damage. So the shield is getting removed almost instantly. Um, he has got pretty far, though. Come on, guys. Take him down. Oh, that was so close. Oh, look at this. We're back in the black market and we've got money to burn. 71 coins. So we'll take the bundle. That's one of every resource. Oh, thank you. We'll then take two more bridges. Oh, thank you. And then reinforce paths and corner paths. I think we definitely want those. Probably put a straight path over there just to extend this one a bit and then the corner i'll probably shove that perhaps that way it'd be good to try and get rid of these two waters somehow so we can bring the path around the back we'll have to see what happens and but look i've bought everything in the black market and it felt good so this statue gains us two bombs so it might be worth spending a bomb to gain a bomb because i literally could shove that there and then i'll get two bombs back sounds like it's worth doing there you go two bombs in the bank uh, next up we've got arch tower and water i think we'll shove that probably just on that edge like that and then oh we got a doubler a doubler of a path now the annoying thing is i'd love to go straight across there but that water's gonna stop me from doing that i might just start the wave and then try and figure that out afterwards uh, this end's getting a little bit a little bit close now look that big guy he got pretty close meanwhile down here the bubble bros they're they're sort of they're getting close hopefully we can take him down though i'm a bit worried that second one hasn't been hit yet pretty much come on take him down take him down oh it's so it get so close it's ridiculous all right i think this double it i'm gonna go there with two bridges and then try and wrap back around and then i'm gonna keep skipping coins until i find something good what does a hedge path do gain two of place somewhere that doesn't connect to any other path oh well i see no harm shoving that there that is a cheeky two coins then we've got got an ice trap. Do I just skip the ice trap? I mean, because there's water, it's going to cost me a bridge. I might skip past a few of these. There we go. You've got single cannon tower on its own. Oh, and then we've got, I think that path piece will fit in there perfectly, won't it? So yeah, if I shove that there using a bridge, then this path piece Please, please, can it go there? Yes, it can go there for two bombs. Decent. And then the straight bit of path. Oh, what a run. There's my final bridge. Nice. Now we've made this one way stronger because this bit beginning where they spawn, they're going to be hit by that cannon tower, this archer tower, this cannon tower. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. And since I've got no bridges or bombs, I don't think it's worth skipping more tiles. So let's just start the wave and see how we get on. Now, over here, shield dude getting pretty close. Oh no, we might need we might need more towers. Oh, I just about survived. Back over this way, we've got two axe dudes who are absolutely creaming it. Um, But I think we've, we've taken them out. Fine. So I'm sort of thinking let's skip a few more. We need like single tiles. I've only got one bridge. Right, well, I've got a path there and I can see coming up is an ice trap and a straight. Now I'm going to need two bridges to use that anywhere pretty much. What I'm thinking is down here I could shove the ice trap there and the straight there. Yeah, but that sort of means I need to skip this path piece. Annoying because it's a straight on its own which is perfect. But yeah we're starting the next wave. We survived down there okay and up here is looking pretty good actually. Yep survived no issues although oh no no. <laughs> okay now we've got a new island we need to defend. Great Still, I'm sticking with the ice trap plan. So we're going to do that because this ice trap is going to cover a path later on as well as there. I think that's going to be absolutely perfect placement. Um, and then we'll potentially we'll skip through some of these. Yeah, we can get an archer tower down here somewhere. I'm going to guess probably going like in the middle is the best thing to do because that covers three tiles on my original run, two on that one. Yeah, let's place that there. And this wave we're getting through easily. I'm excited to see my new archer tower up here get involved and the new frost look there's two pieces of frost we got there yeah look they didn't even get close this time decent All right this bit of path is really annoying it's a really good tile but we got no bridges i could potentially do that trying to future proof hope we get a corner because even if we get a corner with water we should be able to link them up oh though we've got a really useful piece again we need more bridges All right let's start the wave i'm hoping because it's like it's a round number round 30 we might get like to the black market again and we can buy some stuff uh, Ah, we just lost a life up there, though. The Viking made it through. Thankfully, over here, it looks like, yeah, we've done fine. Oh, we've got the magic wheel. We'll definitely take the magic wheel. Let's not lose a heart this time, though. 
Please, game. Oh, we've got an arrow. We're nearly touching tips. Settle down. An arrow tower. Nice. So let's shove that there to cover three tiles. Nice. And then let's be annoyed we didn't get to the black market. Ah, oh, because this would have gone nicely there, wouldn't it? Well, or up there. Could have gone anywhere, but we don't have enough bridge pieces. So we're going to have to start the wave. Oh, look down here. We've spawned a massive knight. He's got a big old sword. Uh, meanwhile, over this way, are we about to lose another life? Oh, yeah, we've lost one. Okay, so this one really needs strength. I'm going to assume this one's okay as long as we can take out this night guy. Yeah, never in doubt. Never in doubt. All right, so corner piece there. Yes, please. I'm going to try and get a tile on its own that I can shove there. So archer tower and water, you are not the one. Straight path. I am actually going to use the straight to go there. Yes, it uses another bridge, but that's fine. This is the one I need to strengthen. There's a corner piece there. We can shove on that. Lovely. And then we've got an arrow tower, which we can put in that gap because look how many hits we get there. That is beautiful. Right, wave 32. Here we come. Let's hope we've done enough to strengthen this one. They're looking, they're looking pretty vicious with their baseball bats. That Viking guy. Oh, we've lost a heart. We've lost a heart already. Thankfully, all our other defenses are fine. And then we've just unlocked two relics. So which one do we pick? Grow the entire aisle. That would be good. Save some bridges. Or cards containing water tiles can be skipped for free. Oh, I might grow the aisle just to save on the bridges. And I don't really know how this works. I don't know if it's going to grow every direction or what's going to happen. But only one way to find out. Oh, yes. That is amazing. Okay, so first things first. This path. I mean, wherever I go with it, I'm going to have to use a blooming bridge. Okay, let's get this one. <laughs> All right, the well wants to go near water. And I may as well start trying to surround this marketplace. If you remember, if we surround that, we get access to the black market. So I'll place that there. We've got a path with a bit of water on. So I could shove that there for a bridge. Yeah, I feel like making this stronger is better. We did just lose a life there. We've also got an ornate tower. Oh, and look at the pattern that does. So this one has quite a unique sort of attack grid. It also gets stronger if it's next to garden tiles, which are these ones. Um, unfortunately, up by there, it can't really hit anything. So I think I'm just going to cover the most squares, which is probably that one, especially if we extend this path along there. So next wave, let's see how we get on. This is the one we really need to try and defend. It's the one we've been losing lives on. Uh, looks like we've made an improvement. Nice. On this main run, we got two knights. I'm excited to see this new ornate tower. Oh, it shoots like green stuff into their eyes. Interesting. Anyway, we got a fountain. If we surround this fully, then we get two lives. So I should probably just shove this up by the other thing I'm trying to surround. So it will go there for now. We've then got a straight bit of path, which I feel like extending this one is probably the most sensible thing to do. We've got a nice trap, which I'm going to shove there so that both the archer towers cover it decent. Shove that corner piece there, this archer tower there, and that bit of path there. And then I think we're good to do the next wave, which is going fairly well, assuming these guys can take out the beard. It is literally scientifically proven if you have a beard, you are very strong. That's why I have one myself. But here's no match for us. Neither was this night because we've got to the next wave. We've got bonus cards. Uh, I'm going to go with materials. All right, we'll shove that there for two bridges, hoping to link this round. I mean, or I could just do that. Yeah, sod it. Let's do that. This arrow tower can go in there, which is five squares. Pretty nice. The garden can go up there. Then we can shove an ice trap there. And we're good for the next wave. So we'll speed this up. Hopefully we're going to survive up this one. Oh man, two big dudes there. The shield has come off though, and I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. And then this one, two bearded dudes and a knight. I think we should be all right here. So corner path there, another one there, an archer tower in that gap, and a garden up there on a bridge, and we're back in the black market. So we'll take the bundle, we'll take the bridges, we'll take the reinforced path and shove it there. And then a corner there, and I think we're good to continue. Let's start the wave. So this one cleared, that one almost cleared. Oh, we could lose a life. We could lose a life. Oh, we lost a life. And then in the middle, that's the closest anyone's got. But uh, we didn't lose another life, so that's good. Uh, oh, now we've got a treasure chest. So we just have to place any tile on top to collect that. So first, I'm going to put an archer over that way. And then I might use this straight to collect it. So I've got to do that anyway to link those up. So yeah, place using a bridge. We got the treasure. We got three bombs. Oh, decent. So we'll start the next wave anyway. But if we can just get two corners in, then this one will be like guaranteed to never lose us lives. Oh no, we just lost one there. Okay, we need to improve this path. Now, the other ones seem to be okay, actually. Although this night guy getting a little bit closer than I'd like. Come on, towers. Come on, towers. He's frozen. Take him down. 
No! Oh no, it's all gone wrong. It has all gone wrong. Is it worth spending a bridge to try and get this fountain surrounded? It gets us two lives back. I think it probably is. So we got two lives. We're back up to seven. A uh, straight bit of path. Let's go this side. And with the ice trap, is it worth going there? So we extend that one. And we also freeze that one, assuming we get a corner piece. Let's do that for now. Shove a garden up there just for a free coin. We got arrow tower and water. We'll probably shove that there for two hits. Then got a bit of path that I can shove there. Path and water, I'll just skip. If you're wondering why I'm starting to spend my coins now, there's only there's only two rounds remaining. So I may as well sort of go all out. So there is corner path, which we want there. Nice. And then the straight bit can go next to it like that. And then we've got a tower. So you're probably going to shove that in there for a bomb because that's got loads and loads of damage it's going to do. And I've just realized I've, oh, I've connected... Where I put this ice trap and path in, I can't actually do anything there now. Because we've got two paths coming to the same point. So I've completely wasted that. I can't put a corner in. Idiot. So yeah, these two can't get any longer. So all I can extend is this one, I guess. I'm going to place an ice trap up there for another bomb, though. And then I think I'm going to start the wave. Let's hope. Have we now got enough power to defend the top right? That axe guy is getting close. Oh, yeah. I think the extra arch tower really helped up there, actually. Because that is all fine now. And this end, yeah, we're looking pretty good as well. Just two knights deal with but they're getting hounded by my turrets i really hate that i'm playing as an architect in this game right now yeah, but what are we gonna do here i could remove half the water tiles that will make like gaps everywhere so i don't have to use bombs to place towers or i could enter the black market i feel like yeah let's remove half the water oh that's so good so now like this archer tower there's actually loads of places i can put it and i think that one makes the most sense so place that and we may as well spend all of our coins so I don't want a straight path. Oh, what's a watch post? Adjacent towers do 10% more damage. We have one of those there. Shove a cannon tower over here. And then a nice tower there using two bridges, meaning this corner is going to get frosty. Like, look at all the freeze down here. They're getting mullered. Uh, meanwhile, this middle one, oh, we might lose a life. Yeah, we lost one life. We've really got to hope that we can get all of these guys. Come on, take the axe guy down in a bit of frost. That's good. That's good. Just two bearded dudes to go and I don't think they can actually make it. We've completed. Oh no, we've got to do round 40. Oh no, I thought that was the final wave. We've still got the final wave to go. So we've got one arrow tower to add. So I think we can just shove that there, right? Yeah, so this is the final wave. I don't have much else to play for. I've only got one coin. So let's just start it and see how we get on six lives. This is going to the wire. I literally, I don't think anyone can call this. Top right take out the vikings we might lose a life here oh that was close that was close that guy's down the bearded dude i think he's down i think he's down yeah he's down right back over this way we just got a bearded guy who's down and a knight to take care of i think we've done it guys we've actually completed the next step of the game victory we defended the aisle and we unlocked 31 new cards so next time we're going to be playing with a load of new stuff yeah uh, basically all these ones that i'm skipping through at the bottom oh man there's so many new things but that was I Love Arrows. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. For now, I'll say peace, love, and I can't believe I played as an architect. I've betrayed my kind. Bye, guys.